back to everybody from uh, from break. We're uh, we're now going to move on from sentence correction on to the beginnings of the arithmetic review. Uh, there are four uh, main areas, uh, six altogether, but four main areas in the mathematics content that we've got to review: arithmetic, uh, algebra, geometry, and word problems. Uh, there are also a couple of other minor but complicated areas that we'll be reviewing over the coming weeks. Now, arithmetic, by the sounds of it, you would think would be the simplest of the uh, of the uh, of the areas to uh, to review, and of course, in some ways, it is. But you'll see as we look at example questions that GMAT can use the number properties area, the arithmetic area, as one of the uh, one of the places to give you really brain teasers rather than math problems, really problems that are purely about logic and following pretty simple mathematical concepts through rather than uh, you know any sort of big feats of calculation. So uh, for, for many people, paradoxically, the arithmetic section, the number of properties section of the DMAT is actually uh, the, one of the most, most complicated and difficult uh, bits, to, bits to handle. So it's very, it may seem as we go through the first 10 or 15 minutes of, of this session that we're going quite slowly through some quite basic concepts. But the reason we're doing that is that GMAT is expecting you to know these concepts so clearly and so inside out that uh, you'll be able to use them not in context of simple questions, but in the context of complicated questions that string these issues together in, uh, in a surprising uh, variety of ways. So let's uh, let's uh, see how that's going to uh, going to work in practice. Um, now, uh, firstly, let's think about some vocabulary. What's uh, what's an integer? An integer is a whole number, positive, negative, or zero, uh, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three, and so on, so on, so on, so on. Uh, infinite, num infinite number of numbers, but always whole numbers, not uh, not fractions or decimals. And again. A little bit of vocabulary that uh, that sometimes non-native English speakers are not wholly familiar with is uh, is the the words that we use when we talk about multiplication. So the result of multiplication is a product, and the uh, numbers which um, make up that product are factors. So a factor times a factor is a product. Okay. We need to be aware of the properties of zero, positive, and negative numbers. We need to know that any factor times zero is uh, equivalent to zero. We need to know that two positive numbers multiplied together are going to give you a positive, but that also two negative numbers multiplied together are going to give you a positive. And we need to remember that the only way to get a negative as the result of multiplication is for one to be positive and one to be negative. Now, many trick questions on the map depend on those. So, you know, you look at those, and, and I hope that you think, oh, well, that's pretty simple stuff. If that's all I need to know, then uh, then I'll be a happy happy man. Um, but in fact, I'm afraid that uh, that that the GMAT will turn these uh, these pretty straightforward issues into some pretty tricky questions. Let's look at uh, at a, an example now. It's, this isn't necessarily, um, and we're looking here at question number four. Why are properties questions? Okay, next category of question, next category of number of properties issues we need to think about is oddness and evenness. Um, firstly, we need to know that two odd numbers added together are going to make an even.